Student Study Clock Issue 10, and this one is really good. It has a lot of meat, it has a lot of substance. It's really meaty and wordy, but it's so good. It's so well swapped together. Actually, it reminds me a lot of the Dr. Manhattan Origin Story issue, or what's me, which I think is like issue uh, chapter 6 or something of, of the story, or like night, maybe a, like an hour into the movie if you're a person who just saw the movie but um they it reminds me of it because it is it feels like this issue was the another dr Ma, dr manhattan origin story it is dr manhattan's reaction and entrance into the dc universe where he has jumped into the multiverse enter into the dc universe and witnessing everything that's happened and he realizes that the cause of it and how everything is shaping up is since Superman lift up a car and crashed it to a, like a side of a tree. Uh, basically when Superman showed up uh, in 1938. April 12th of 1938. Um, oh, and him... And because of it, Dr. Manhattan realizes that because of Superman, all of these costume people, all of these costume heroes are popping up, like Jay Garrick's Flash, Aaron Sott's Green Lantern, uh, uh, Sandman, um, the, the original Sandman, not the new game of Sandman, the original Sandman, the Spectre, Hawkman, uh, the Adam, which took me a while to realize that that was the Adam because I was used to the Adam looking like Wade, uh, uh, Wade Palmer. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to him looking like that versus like uh, um, him just having a suck over his head if you think about it. Uh, but he, he the, and because Charles Manhattan realizes that he, he wonders what makes Superman so special. What makes Superman special enough that earns everyone, like made everyone, what makes him have the hope, what makes him aspire and because of it he decides to create the new 52 and just because he wants like if he mucks it a little bit and makes Superman his own person, maybe he, maybe, maybe, maybe he'll understand it and it's just really good, it's just really good wisdom stuff, it shows the importance of Superman. Like, this is a, if you're a Superman fan, this is an issue to read. Like, it is, like, love, hands down, and, and also, it is kind of funny, a little bit, like, how many times that the origin story has been told in comics. You're kind of thinking we all know the origin story of Superman, but they kind of, like, to retell it every ten years, you know? Um, and of course you got little Easter eggs, like, there's a, a couple of lines from, like, Man of Steel, there's a couple of lines from, uh, um, Superman 78 with um, the son becomes father and the father becomes the son or something along those lines and it's uh it's really good it's really good this is a damn good series it's just the pain in the ass about this series is it it's 12 chapters originally it was meant to end November last year but they keep jumping it every two two months and it, it gets annoyed and annoyed and they were not like Next part, then it gets pushed back. You're like, oh my god, can we go? It's, we're nearly at the end. We've got two issues left. We want to see how it wraps up. And there's a lot, and there's like, if you read Rebirth, you are starting to see how everything shapes up. If you see Rebirth, if you have read the Rebirth, Rebirth like, you know it, how everything goes around. Um, it just looks. It, it's just a really good read and the relationship that John has, I mean, I mean who's Doth Manhattan with his actor it's just really good 